Welcome to Beacon Retirement Strategies, a show dedicated to helping you turn your retirement dreams into reality. From financial planning and wealth management to strategies for taxes, healthcare, and leaving a legacy, the team at Beacon Capital Management provides one-stop modern solutions for your journey to and through retirement. This is Beacon Retirement Strategies. Here with Pete Benson and John Maxson of Beacon Capital Management. Great to be back with you guys. Great to be with you, Amy. Thanks. Good to be here. We've got a great show ahead. Lots to talk talk about today, many topics to cover. We're gonna dive straight into Social Security because there's a lot to think about before we claim those benefits, right Pete? Well, there is. It's a complicated issue and it's kind of the cornerstone of your income plan in retirement. A lot of people don't know when and how to maximize their Social Security, so we're gonna go into that and help them out because they need to get every penny they can out of this. Yeah, and it's hard to talk about retirement without talking about risk. There are three risks that we're gonna talk about. We call them the three thieves really and it uh, sounds interesting to me. Yeah, really important to understand these fees. A lot of people are paying more in fees and they realize we believe taxes are going to go up. We got a $30 trillion debt in this country and then market volatility. You really don't want too much risk in your portfolio when you're retired. And then of course we have our tax tip and our estate planning tip. All of these things really are comprehensive at Beacon Capital Management. Talk about those a little bit. Yeah, we do comprehensive wealth planning and it really boils down to five pillars we talk about. Having an income plan, not just a hope, an income plan and an investment plan. Yep, and then we get into taxes because having a tax plan for future taxes is important. And then healthcare, healthcare costs are going up astronomically. And then finally, legacy or estate planning. That's what we look at as a full service plan when you're talking about wealth planning. It's what sets you apart at Beacon Capital Management. So much to talk about on the show today. Thanks so much, guys. All this and more coming up after our break when Beacon Retirement Strategies continues. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. When it comes to investing for retirement, it's important to know that returns on fixed income options like CDs, savings accounts, and even bonds are extremely low. And that's not likely gonna change anytime soon. You need to generate income in retirement, but investing aggressively in the stock market comes with a lot more risk. If you're in or near retirement, this could be dangerous. However, there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we wanna show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. You'll discover the fastest way to increase your income that most people simply overlook. The key to protecting your principal from the increasing risk on Wall Street and the options to generate tax-free income in retirement. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement with our free retirement income analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. So guys, we've got a really important topic to talk about today that really impacts a lot of people that we work with every day in retirement. It's this whole issue of maximizing Social Security income, which we know is just a huge topic. A lot of rules that people really don't pay attention to. I think there's something like 2,700 rules, Pete, that apply to those things. And many times people choose unwisely with their Social Security choices. Well, a lot of times they, they just do what a neighbor or a friend or someone else did that told them that, hey, this is what I did, maybe it'll work for you. But this is a custom decision. This is something that just fits your family to maximize that Social Security. And we've seen by taking good approaches and strategies to this, we've seen people be able to add $5,000 a year to their income as a family, $10,000 a year, $100,000 over their retirement lifestyle so or lifetime. So this is big and you've got to get it right. Well, you do have to get it right. And so many people don't know where to begin. And so they, they just assume that the longer they wait, that's going to be the best strategy. We, not one person comes into the office and doesn't ask the question of when should I start Social Security? And while there are factors 
uh, that can impact it regarding health. You know, you have to be healthy to be able to delay. One of the things that I like to do for families, I was meeting with the family last week and we were able to sit down and run three or four side-by-side -side comparisons looking at if they delayed, if they drew early, and what the end result was going to be and just allow the data to help guide their decisions. And the other big one too, Patrick, when it comes to Social Security is taxes. A lot of people don't know they're even going to pay tax on right. their Social Security benefit. Yeah, that, that's true, Dan. A lot of people just don't focus on the fact that they could pay 50%, they could pay 85% of that Social Security, it could be taxed. So planning that strategy outright, thinking that through and thinking what the sources of income that could count towards that amount that could get taxed is really important. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, some people end up paying zero in taxes. And another thing, uh, Ryan, when it comes to estate planning is sometimes it's the better thing to take the Social Security early because you want to leave certain assets to a family member that needs that, whereas Social Security, unless it's a spouse, it's not left to them. So that has to be factored in as well. Yeah, and I've had people come in and ask that very question. How can I make sure I allocate this amount of money to this individual or this group of individuals? And that's part of the planning is lumping that in, lumping you guys in, the financial side of things, the tax side of things, to making sure all that works together. Yeah, and a lot of times people go to the point of least resistance. They think, well, I'm going to retire when I'm 60. I'll just take it at 62. But to your point, Patrick, what they don't realize is they're really signing up for 25% permanent penalty for the rest of their life. And unless there's a health issue, that could be a very, very long time. So they're gonna pay more taxes, they're gonna sign up for a reduction. But when you put a plan together, and we talk about an income plan which includes Social Security, and you look at the full picture, the tax piece, the estate piece, the income piece, the investment piece, it's rare that you can't figure out what's most advantageous to the client not just today, but throughout their retirement. Well, you have to factor in other investments. And in order to delay Social Security when you retire, you got to have a few extra dollars sitting around. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we like to do is provide a plan, a written plan, and how does Social Security work with all my other investments and if I have a pension. And uh, every piece of that is going to be critical to really providing the smoothest ride through retirement. And when it comes to income, there are no do-overs. We want to make sure that we get it right the first time. Yeah, and the other thing is every family dynamic doesn't look the same. They're not all just a couple that's healthy. You've got people that have been divorced and maybe they can actually draw off an ex-spouse's uh, social security and a lot of times they don't realize that. Remarried, you've got widowed, disabled. There's a lot of different factors and people involved in this that need, again, that custom advice just for their particular situation so they can maximize the most amount of money. Yeah, it really comes down to having a plan. You know, it's said that for most folks in America, Social Security is going to account for about 20 to 30 percent of their income in retirement. Yeah. Now, I don't know anyone that walks into our office that would take 20 or 30 percent of their investments and say, I don't need a plan for that. Well, Social Security is no different. It starts with understanding what specifically is, you know, best or most beneficial for you and your family and then having a written plan. And that's what we try to do with our clients every week at our firm. Guys, that was a great topic and yeah. look forward to this every week and we'll have some additional great topics coming up in the weeks ahead. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. If we've learned anything over the last few years, it's that we can expect change. And when it comes to retirement planning, it's more important than ever to have a solid plan to cover income, taxes, health care, and your estate. Overlooking just one of these can cost you big in retirement. To help you prepare, Beacon Capital offers a free financial plan checkup that will help you know if you're on the right track for retirement. Call now to schedule your free financial plan checkup. Did you know taxes could be your biggest expense in retirement? It's true, and it catches a lot of people by surprise. You've worked too hard to overpay on taxes come retirement. Learn how to keep more of what's yours and maintain your lifestyle in retirement by downloading this free tax guide now from Beacon Capital Management. Find out ways to save on taxes and enjoy the retirement you deserve. Go to beaconcm.com slash tax guide to get yours today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies.
now for estate planning with Ryan Knight. And Ryan, we all have assets, but you say it's important for us to understand the differences between probate and non-probate assets. Absolutely, so non-probate assets are gonna be assets that are gonna pass different than probate assets. And the reason that is, is things like jointly owned assets. If you're a married couple and you have a house in both of your names, that's jointly owned, it's gonna pass different than if it would be required to go through the probate process. Assets that you have that have beneficiary designations on them are considered non-probate probate assets. Those are going to pass different. Those are all going to pass outside of a last will and testament. There's a common misconception that if I have a will, everything I own passes according to the terms of that will, and that's not the case. So it's important to make sure you have everything working in conjunction. So if you have a will that says two children equally when the first or the second of us passes away, we want to make sure the beneficiary designations are also set up in the same way that way everything passes the exact same way. Okay, great information, thanks so much. And that is your estate planning tip of the week. Today in Breaking Down the Basics, three thieves of your money. You may not be aware that there are thieves out there laying and waiting to try and get some of your hard earned money, but there are, there's three of them. And today we're gonna break those down. The three thieves of money are fees, taxes, and market loss. And when we sit down with clients each and every day, it's very rare that anyone can tell me what the total risk is when they look at their fees, taxes, and market loss. How can each one of those impact you and your family and really impact the amount of money that you're going to be able to keep during your retirement years? When it comes to fees, a lot of people know what they pay their advisor. A lot of people don't know what they pay their advisor. There's a lot of hidden fees inside mutual funds and investments that clients just aren't aware. And, and to be honest with you, when things are going well, stock market's going up, we pull out our investment statement and we see that we're making money each month. Very rarely do people question how much they're paying in fees. But if the market does slow down and we run into some trouble, we really want to know how much we're paying for the services we're getting so that we can know how much of that money are you going to get to keep and enjoy in retirement. So understanding our fees is going to be critical moving forward to really be able to get the maximum benefit from your hard-earned money. And then another biggie out there today that gets is widely discussed all over the media and with your friends and neighbors is taxes. Are taxes going to go up on you? in your retirement years. There's so many families out there, the boomers are retiring, there's a wave of people entering into retirement. A lot of that's due to how well the stock market has done over the last 13 years. But so many people are questioning, what's the impact of taxes gonna look like on my retirement accounts? Am I gonna be able to generate the amount of income that I'm needing even after my taxes are considered. And so we want to help people really understand what taxes are going to look like in the future. But I can say right now there's a big question mark on whether taxes are going to stay the same and it looks like they are going to go up across the board for each and every family. And so you want to know how those taxes are going to impact you. If you have an investment account that you've done well and saved well in and it's worth a million dollars, when you factor in taxes, the spendable amount of that money may be more like seven hundred dollars or $800,000. And then what about inflation? If you factor in inflation on top of the taxes, how long is that money really gonna last? Those thieves are out there trying to steal your hard-earned money and you need to have a plan for how taxes are gonna impact you in your retirement years. Taxes can even impact the amount of income you have and taxes on that income can impact how much money you're going to pay in your Medicare Part B premium. A lot of folks don't realize their Medicare premiums can go up just based on the amount of taxes and income that they're generating. So it's really important that you have a good idea of what that's going to look like. Do you know what your fees are? Do you know how much you're going to pay in taxes? And then the third item is market loss. Yeah, again, the market's done really well. We're all thankful for that. And that's really put a lot of folks in the position to be able to retire earlier than they thought they were going to be able to retire. But what happens if the market slows down or we do see a correction in the stock market? Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future, but it's not unreasonable to think that after the last 13 years of gains, 
that we might see a correction. In fact, that's usually healthy when the market's going up and up and up to see a reset of sorts to create a more stable foundation for growth in the future. And so really understanding how much risk you have on your investments, we believe, is going to be incredibly important because if you have enough money today to be able to retire, whatever that looks like, right, whatever that number is for each family, if you feel like you have enough, what would that look like if you lost 20 or 30 percent of your money? Would you still feel comfortable being able to retire and live the same lifestyle, or do you think that could have an impact on the way that you're able to retire? And so we want to help families understand how much risk do you currently have? So many people out there don't really know how much risk they have until it's too late, because the truth of the matter is, when we're making money, nobody really questions the amount of risk they have. And when the market's gone down and you see how much you've lost, it's already too late. So we want to help you identify what are the three thieves of your money, the fees you pay, the taxes you pay, and market loss, and make sure that you have a proactive plan to address each and every one of those before they can impact you. And that's today's Breaking Down the Basics. My wife and I and our kids came south uh, in 1989 and I figured it would be maybe for like a five-year stint down in south and then we would head back to Canada and then we would talk about all those crazy people in the south and those years that we spent down there but we would never live there for the rest of our life. But That was 1989 and we're still there. I had had a real passion for learning more about finances. We were married young. I had to learn, we had to learn how to budget and how to handle money because believe me, every dollar counted and we needed to stretch it so far. So I actually self-taught myself by reading a lot of books um, about finances. And that wasn't gonna be my career though. That was like, this is how we're gonna survive. There came a point in my career that I said, you know what, I think I'm going to jump into this and see if this is really what I'm wired to do. And so I started working for another firm, got licensed, got trained, got experience and so on. Worked for them for just a handful of years. And I remember coming home to my wife who had a really good job and I said, how would you feel about me being a kept man for a few years? I have this dream to start my own financial firm because you make enough money to pay all the bills right now, I could just try this and there's no pressure because if I don't make a whole lot of money, it's okay on the front end because we're just getting started and you can pay the bills. How does that sound like a good deal? Well, I guess I was a good salesman because she went for it. And so one client at a time, no office, we used to call it working out of the trunk of our car. I started to build a clientele of people. Soon we had five families, and then 10, and then 20, and 25, and uh, on and on it built. She had this guy that worked for her that was a manager on her team with Bell South Mobility, John Maxson. And I had told her that I really wanted to expand and see about maybe building a company, not just being a one-man shop and a one-man show. And she said, I got this guy that I want you to talk to. I think he'd be really good in the business. And I'm like... Yeah, you just want to pawn him off on me, don't you? And there's days that I actually feel like that, but no. I talked to John, and um, I guess I was a good salesman again because I convinced him away from a really good career and not a whole lot to offer except a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and hard work, and, you know, maybe we'd build a company together. And this was about 20 years ago, and um, it's worked out okay. We've been really blessed. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. The last thing you want to be is flat broke when you are ready to retire. Generating income in retirement is more difficult today than ever before, but there are some surprisingly attractive options to generate income in retirement without betting the farm. At Beacon Capital Management, we want to show you how to use your savings to generate retirement income with our free retirement income analysis. Learn your options, make your money work for you in retirement, and schedule your free retirement income analysis today. 
Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. Welcome to today's Master's Money Moment. You know, the Bible has a lot to say about money, stewardship, giving. In fact, I think I read uh, a long time ago that there's over 2,000 verses in the Bible that have something to do with money. So today's verse is about giving. Here it is. Proverbs 22 and 9. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. You know, we're not very old before we start to think that happiness is all about getting. But as we mature, we realize that true happiness is more about giving. The generous will themselves be blessed. So you're blessed and you actually receive by giving, not by trying to get. For they share their food with the poor. There are many people who need our generosity. So. Hopefully that's a good lesson for you today, a good reminder, and that's today's Master's Money Moment. Time now for your tax tip of the week, and I'm joined now by Patrick Min. Why do you say now is the perfect time to start tax planning? Amy, we are telling people now that taxes are on sale. When you talk to people, most people would say, you know, tax rates are high now. But history has shown that this is probably the lowest we've seen in a long time. In the 70s, tax rates were in the 70% range. Given the increase in our national debt, we're about $30 trillion right now. The program, federal programs we're looking at putting in, taxes are going to have to go up. So planning now and being smart, taking advantage of this sale on taxes is going to be really important. Trying to use strategies that would pay taxes now at historic low rates so that you can take advantage of that 0% tax rate in the future. That's really going to be important. All right, forward thinking it is. Thank you so much, Patrick. And that is your tax tip of the week. Do you have a plan for retirement? Maybe you have a 401k and some savings, but there is much more to retirement planning. Things like planning for health care costs, an income plan to maintain your lifestyle, creating a tax strategy, and an estate plan. At Beacon Capital Management, we know retirement planning can feel overwhelming, and that's why we're offering a free financial plan checkup to help you reach your retirement goals. So call to get yours today. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. It's time for Ask Beacon Now, which means we get to answer some questions that come in to you guys from time to time, give you a chance to give your knowledge to our viewers today. Looking Sounds forward great, to that. Yep. All right, here we go with our first question. It is from Debbie in Brentwood. I'm 62 and want to retire soon, but I'm nervous I don't have enough save to maintain my lifestyle. How do I know what my options are and how to avoid making myself go back to work, which is a big one? Yeah, I would say to Debbie, you need to be nervous. This is a huge decision. You only get to retire one time, at least for most people, and you want to do it right. There's really no do-overs. So being nervous is actually good because what it does is it motivates us to take action. And what Debbie has done is she has called in and she's reaching out to get more information, like, am I okay? I think everybody asks that question. Am I really okay? How much longer might I live? and how much money is it going to take and what haven't I thought about? So there's a lot of puzzle pieces, we call it, that it takes to think of and subjects to build that retirement puzzle. Things like income, growth, protection, uh, legacy, taxes, uh, you know, there's just a lot of different pieces. So good question and the thing is to take time to plan and then when you are done, you're going to know whether you can confidently step out into that retirement. Chances are you're ready. Yeah, we all want to maintain our lifestyle, I imagine, yeah. in retirement. That's important. Okay, question number two from Rob in Hendersonville. I'm turning 72 soon and know I need to be thinking about required minimum distributions, but I don't know where to start. All right. Well, you know, Amy, Rob's got a great question because required minimum distribution is kind of a new stage in retirement for a lot of people because a lot of people will just defer their IRAs, their 401ks until they reach 72. And then the federal government says you've got to start taking 
money out. And so the assumption is you take an equal amount of money out of each IRA that you have. So for example, if you have five IRA accounts and you have a total of $20,000, you just take $4,000 out of each account. That, that can work some years, but there are other years you may want to rebalance that, take more out of one account based on performance or other things. And then, so having really a withdrawal strategy that includes not only your RMD money, but your tax-free money, such as Roth and that type of thing is really important. And if you don't have a withdrawal strategy, it's, it's not going to be very efficient. So you really need to have a written withdrawal strategy, not just for income, but also for RMDs. Okay, great insight. Thanks so much. And here is another question from Marilyn in Franklin. We have eight grandchildren between the ages of three and 17 that we'd like to set up college funds for. How do we go about that? Well, how do we do that? Well, we talk to the expert, Pete, who has yeah. several grandchildren of his own. Seven, so she's ahead of me, yeah. Marilyn. So uh, this is something that at a certain age, you begin to think about grandchildren and how can I add value to their life? How can I contribute, invest to their future? And so college is one of the things. And so here at our firm, we do set up college funds for people and it really doesn't take that much money. And because of the fact that for many of them it's long term, it's going to be there for a while before they get college age, then, you know, the types of investments need to be picked based on that. So, again, there's not just college funds that can be used for college, though. You can use other types of accounts even though you want it to be used for college. Sometimes it's better to do something different because if they don't go to college or don't need it, then it can be used for other purposes. So again, getting all the information up front, very, very important and a great thing to do. Yeah, it's a wonderful gift, no matter what way they use it. All right, thank you so much, John and Pete. Great insights as always. And if you have questions, go to askbeaconnow.com and we'll be right back. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies. This may be hard to believe, but many hardworking Americans, just like you, could be paying even more taxes in retirement, including being taxed on your IRA, 401k, and any other deferred retirement accounts. With the threat of potential taxes increasing, your nest egg could be in trouble unless you take advantage of defensive tax saving strategies now. Now's the time to defend your hard earned savings. Call for your free customized tax savings analysis. Welcome back to Beacon Retirement Strategies. John, a lot of great valuable information on the show today. Really great topics. You bet, Amy. And if you're ready to take action on your retirement future, give us a call right now. All right. Thanks so much, John. And you can also visit the website for John and the team at Beacon Capital Management. I'm Amy Sharp, wishing you a happy and successful journey to and through retirement.